Hello, I'm Mike Gunn, still unemployed stand-up comedian and uh, ex-heroin addict. And it's beginning to feel like those two things are going to be true forevermore. Anyway, remember, I'd gone to the psychiatric hospital because I needed help. I really did. I was in a bad way. But as far as I could tell, um, the only treatment available to me, uh, apart from a methadone detox, was occupational therapy, which consisted of either basket weaving or bingo. As you know, both well-known cures for heroin addiction. Now, you had to have lost all hope and completely given up on life to do the basket weaving, but the bingo wasn't that bad. Because if you won the bingo, you had a choice of prizes, either a boiled sweet or a cigarette. And I quite often needed a cigarette uh, to roll a joint. So I would play the bingo. And not only would I play the bingo, but I would win the bingo every time. Because remember, I'm playing with the mentally ill. The nurse is the bingo caller. Half the patients would just sit there silently, not marking off their card, not doing anything, not making a sound, and she would ignore them completely. Now the other half of the patients would shout bingo after every number. Sometimes they'd shout bingo when we weren't even playing bingo, and the nurse would ignore them completely as well. So we played until I got a line, and no, <laughs> the irony is not lost on me. Uh, and I'd win every time. But one day I came down to the bingo and I really couldn't be asked to play the bingo. And I just I said, oh, for God's sake, I don't want to play the bingo. Just give me the cigarette. You know I'm going to win. I know I'm going to win. Just give me the cigarette. And she said, no, you've got to play bingo. It's therapeutic. And I went, oh, for God's sake, who's the nutcase here? It's not therapeutic. It's playing bingo with the mentally ill. Just give me the cigarette. And she said, no, you've got to play the bingo. I lost my temper. We had a bit of a row and I started shouting. And uh, in the middle of my tantrum, um, I kind of looked over and I noticed that the doctors in their white coats were there, you know, making notes, mental notes. You know, he's lost it again. Hysteria, bingo rage, delusions of grandeur, thinks he's going to win every time. <laughs> you have to be careful in a psychiatric hospital to act normal. And it's pretty hard to act normal if you're in a psychiatric hospital and you've got no idea what normal is. Anyway, I was there for about, I don't know, 28 days, something like that. And, uh, and then they deemed me successfully rehabilitated and discharged me with a never-ending prescription for Valium, Tamazepan and Distalgesic, which uh, I abused, obviously. I left there, I've got to say, none the wiser about addiction. I don't think any of the doctors, psychiatrists, social workers, I don't think all of them put together knew any more about addiction than your average street junkie. Anyway, it wasn't a total waste of time because, uh, one, they did sort of nurse me back to health enough to carry on banging up as much heroin as I can get my hands on. And two, Trotter, the dog from episode seven, did get himself a nice new basket. So, not a total waste. Um, thanks for donations. And uh, can you join my YouTube channel, please? Because uh, they won't let me monetize it until I've got a thousand subscribers and I haven't got quite enough. So that'd be really helpful. I just need about another 800. So get on it, will you?